Hello everyone and welcome to Renegade, which is one of the very first beat-em-ups, but instead of playing the original arcade version, we're playing the Master System version. This version is a bit longer, around 20 minutes maybe, while the original version is only about 5 minutes long if you know what you're doing. So that's one of the reasons we're playing it. Another is that I like its graphics a tiny bit more. They're not nearly as detailed as the original, but the style is kind of cute. So we're here on the train tracks, and we can knock enemies off of the platform and into the train tracks where they suffer an instant death, but it's not like they have that much health to start with. So unlike a lot of beat em ups we don't have separate buttons for punching and kicking, instead we have a button for a right attack and a left attack for either side of our character. I believe this same control scheme was later used in Double Dragon 2. I may be mistaken about that, but I believe so. Either way, it makes it a lot easier to hit enemies that are standing behind you. And this is really a very fast-moving game, considering how old it is and that it's also a beat-em-up. So I want to give it props for that, too. Alright, that's the first uh, section of this level done. Once we move into the next one, the timer resets and we get our health back. Very generous. In Renegade, we also have a running attack, which is not something that is in much abundance in old beat-em-ups, believe it or not. Some of them have it, but not most. I assume because it's a lot easier to control the design when you limit the player's movement a bit, and there's nothing wrong with that. The way Renegade deals with you having a running attack is just by making it so the running attack is only useful in very, very specific situations. It should never be your, your go-to method of attack, is what I'm saying. We also have a couple of other moves at our disposal, but we'll get to those when we get to those. We don't need- oh hey, there's one, but I did that one by accident. We can punch enemies while they're on the ground, but I like to do that sparingly. Because I tend to I tend to want to be able to, to move everywhere I need to in an instant. This is the boss, and he isn't too bad. He's just as aggressive as we can be, but honestly, it's easy to it's easy to interrupt his own combo with yours. So even if he deals a decent amount of hits, it's not like you're going to come out the worst for it. He is. And there's also the fact that there are train tracks right behind him. So if we get on his left side, we can just do this and kill him instantly. 